How do you feel right now? I'm just really nervous. Uh, do I have pit stains already? I think I do. Yeah, no. I'm sweat, literally sweating. Gentlemen, <laughs> welcome back, sir. I'm not happy. Yeah. I came for bidet, and then you were like, hey, we're going to do the movie stuff. I'm like, oh, I always wanted to do that. Huh? Hey, here I am again on the toilet! Yeah. Guys, I have eaten Chipotle every day for the past month in preparation for this. I, uh, in all honesty, got a little queasy when you said that, yeah. so... Yeah! Uh, let's play! Yeah! <laughs> Matt Rob, welcome to Trivia Bidet! I am not ready yeah. at all. Laser Corn, how are you? Uh, I've been better. I've been more comfortable. Dude, you're here on Trivia Bidet and... Movie, movie game. Oh, you're real close and my anus is out. That will get close. Oh, no. Remember mustache stickers? Oh, no. Uh, we're going to do it a little differently. Usually, like, somebody's standing right here giving you the questions. I'm going to hide down here and you're going to stare down the lens kind of like we do on movie, movie game. I wow. mean, whether you're hiding or visible, you're way too close to me yeah. for me having my pants down. This isn't the first time, sir. <laughs> yeah. He's down there. Hey, guys. He's at ass level. Hey! <laughs> we have a, Why am I pretending? We have a robust history. Is there um, a theme today, Mr. Joe? Yes. The theme that is of, for today is the first movie. He's next to my butt. Has a famous bathroom scene. So uh, in preparation for this, actually, Lasercorn sent me a text and said, hey, I'm in the lead. If you can tank it, I'll buy you a slushy." So this is me saying, fuck you, Lasercorn. I'm going to take you down. He got how many right? All right, here we go. Okay. How'd you get the beans above the Franks? Sang our magical British flying witch nanny. Just a spoonful of sugar makes the zipper go down. Okay, uh, so it's Mary Poppins and, uh, oh wait, hold on, it's Mary. Uh, I'm not even gonna pretend I don't know. There's something about Mary Poppins. Yeah! Da, 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 da. There's something about Mary Poppins. Yeah! Oh, thank God! <laughs> There's something about Mary Poppins. Yeah! <laughs> I got scared. I felt my sphincter. Is that the, the science word for it? The sphincter? And it's cool if I take a sh while we're doing yeah, this. Yeah, Steve okay. Steve's done that, so you want to be the first. Really? Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> After too many heroin-fueled close calls, our leading man ditches the needles and his junkie friends and flees to London, where he joins another group of hopeless addicts addicted to hunting Nazis. Okay. So the second one's Inglorious Bastards. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping one of them is Inglorious Bastards. Oh man, junkies, it's not train spotting. No, I'm not, I'm not guessing, I'm just thinking out loud, I'm using my processes. <laughs> it feels like it should be train spotting and inglorious bastards. Uh, were, they, was, were they fighting Nazis in the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? No answer, maybe we're getting closer. All right, <laughs> hold on. Oh no! <laughs> I don't know enough about heroin movies. What's the first sound of the first movie that you know? The first sound of the first movie? The first sound of the second movie, which you know. In. <laughs> Something League. Um, see, I just don't know the heroin one. Uh, big League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? <laughs> <laughs> Did you say big? Train, train spotting. Glorious Bastards? Yes, Train it is! Spotting Glorious Bastards! Yes, it is! Oh my god! Oh, I almost went down a, a whole nother road completely! Train Spotting Glorious Bastards! Yes! yes! I knew I knew it, and I just couldn't get there. Oh my god! Too close for comfort! Train Spot Team Glorious Bastards? Yeah! There you go. Okay. Oh, this is way more stressful than I thought. When I sit at home, I'm like, these idiots can't get it. Now that my physical anus is on the line, there's a lot of stakes. As opposed to your metaphysical right, anus. Right, as opposed to my mental anus. All right, here we go. All right. Joven. Oh, okay. The dude abides, but also shreds powder to save his downhill party lifestyle and stick it to those rich preps on the slopes. Shredding slopes is... Okay, now there's a few options there. <laughs> Alright, uh... <laughs> I don't know if this is correct. I only know... Big Lebow. Is it a hot tub? No, not hot, hot, hot time machine. Oh, oh. 
oh jeez, I'm an idiot. It's a, a Big Lebowski trip. Oh, no. <laughs> ski resort. Ski resort. There, okay, there's two. There's two ski movies or ski and snowboard movies that I know. There's Big Lebowski and Better Off Dead. Outside of that, I don't know any movie where so so it's got to be the Big Lebowski cold. Oh, <laughs> no! What was it? What the f was it? The Big Lebowski cold. Is Come on, movie. that could be it. The Big Lebowski cold. It's the Big Lebowski School. Oh, the Big Lebowski School! The Big Lebowski School. That's stupid! Nobody's ever seen Ski School! What's the title? Oh, of the, the Big Lebowski Lodge. Oh! oh is that Sriracha? Why does it burn? That's oh, the Chipotle. Oh, no, that's why! The Big Lebowski School is Do I get like points for effort on that? What was the- Oh, you know what Lasercorn said? He what? just said, Big Lebout Cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love about cold. Hello everybody, welcome to the insert that we are putting inside this video. It's very important because this insert is going to be here to tell you that today's episode is sponsored. <laughs> episode is brought to you by Skillshare, the online learning community that has so many entrepreneurial and creative classes that are going to help you become a more rounded, more intelligent human being. You've heard us talk about Skillshare before and you know that they have a bunch of very specific things that we do like film and video and animation, but they've got so much other stuff that you can put into your repertoire. Things like botanical illustration. Holy crap, that's specific. So boom, you got your film and video skills. Bam, you've got your botanical drawing skills. Oh, but let's take it to the next step. Why not learn how to make the perfect grilled cheese? Yeah, you can do that. Throw some of those grilled onions on there. Look what you could be doing. You could be finishing up your grilled cheese and while that's simmering over there, bam, you're drawing your botanical garden over here. But boom, there's a camera up here, which you picked up from your film and video skills that are helping chronicle the whole situation so you can put that on YouTube just like us. Look guys, it's not complicated. Premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are just right for you. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving. It's also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. That means you get to sit at home instead of commuting to class and you're going to get your grilled cheese, you're going to get your botanical art illustration design, the film and video, your animation, you're going to become a better you at home. Throw me the guitar. Throw me the guitar. $10. Throw me the guitar. Throw me the guitar. Don't throw me the guitar. Throw me the guitar. $10. That's crazy. All right, guys, because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, you can sign up right now with the link down in the description for a free two-month trial. Do it, because why not? Ooh, door guitar. Back to our show. <laughs> in what would be a very problematic movie today, a ragtag group of high school boys really want to rid themselves of their pesky virginities, but instead get humiliated at a backwater swamp bar before spying on Emma Stone in the shower, who coincidentally recently lied about losing the old V card in an attempt to artificially raise her social standing at school. Oh man, high school is gross. So the first one I think is American Pie? Uh, I have no idea what that second one is. Uh, what, is this what people were doing in high school? <laughs> God, I was doing competitive improv like a cool kid. <laughs> Backwater Swamp Bar. I think way earlier than American Pie. Okay. All right. I think we can establish Porky's, right? We got Porky's. Porky's Ooh. is an easy one. I don't know. <laughs> I got nothing. Come on, nice brain. American, uh, no, uh, one hot American summer nights. 
Wet Hot American Butthole! <laughs> God, what was it? Ah! What was it? Second movie's Easy A. Oh. Yeah, I watch my Emma Stone movies. <laughs> Porky's is an easy one. Easy. Porky's A. Yeah! yeah! The Graduate. The Graduate Easy A? Not the. Oh! <laughs> oh my God! It just. It was sharp! How did they get sharper? Is Porky's problematic? Oh, yeah. But it's high schoolers! Dude, they. they... Yeah, what the happens in that shower scene? It was Porky's. Porky's A! <laughs> Porky's A. Porky's A? I, I haven't seen any of those movies! Well, no, they all hire a prostitute, and it's like, oh man, yeah, no, you're right. As I recall this movie, it's really problematic. But I've always wanted that scene where, like, me and a bunch of my friends go to, like, a backwater bar and we get yeah. a fight. No! Kevin, did you see Easy A? I did. Did you see Porky's? I have not. This show is terrible. <laughs> <gasps> Young newlyweds try to maintain their sanity and their marriage as their dream house systematically and hilariously falls apart in their cursed hometown in which they have returned to do battle with a ravenous sewer-dwelling demon that tormented them in their youths. Okay. Mm. Sounds like a rom-com and boy do I know my rom-coms. Wait, do I have to, do I, all right. Yeah, I think I get it. it right. I think I get it, I think I got it. Are we talking the original or are we talking the new one? Uh, and obviously the second one is It. Uh, so, uh, you know. Okay, so the last one is It, and the first one is... So, they're newlyweds, and their house is falling apart. <clears throat> I don't even know if this is a movie. Is it Money Pit? P it? You gotta finish the title of the second one. Nailed it. Very good. No, it's not gonna be It. It's gonna be Fixed. We fixed it. <laughs> Money Pit 2? Close. Uh, I don't know what the sequel is. <laughs> what is the sequel to It called? I'm gonna say the Money Pit Chapter One. Oh, 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 it. I was right. It's the Money Pit. Son of a bitch. Oh, no. Based on the novel by Stephen King, what do you want from me? Return to their hometown in which they have re Chapter Two. Return to chapter do two battle. You piece of shit. I got it right. I was right. They returned in the whole thing. Uh, which they have returned to do battle. Return. Oh, it's... We nailed it, chapter two. <laughs> For a brief moment, I'm like, is there a movie called Nailed It? <laughs> we'll figure it out. I get it. I'm going to win. This counts as a win. Kevin, if you edit the... Joven, it was the money pit. Oh, the money chapter pit. Chapter two. two. I'm not doing as good this time around. I, I, maybe not a shame to you at home, but I'm ashamed to myself. I know at home this bathroom looks like it's big. It's not. It's not very big. <laughs> it's so <laughs> tiny. I can touch the. I'm touching the camera. <laughs> so you got, you got two and a half. You got two. Yeah. You got. Three. <laughs> you got. Three. We'll probably. Give, oh, we'll probably give it to you. Thanks. You got it. Two barely competent humans road trip cross country to deliver a misplaced briefcase to a lady nestled away in the snowy mountains of Aspen. Where she's starring in a new Broadway adaptation alongside the writer director who was trying to prove he is more than the flighty superhero he portrayed on television many years ago. Holy crap, wait a second, I was so hung up on the first one I lost the second one. Hold on, wait. Well, the greatest comedy ever made, Dumb and Dumber. Uh, okay, it's Dumb and Dumber, that's set, right? Dumb and Dumber, the first half. Murder, she wrote. Murphy Brown. Murder, dumb and dumb. Murder, dumb, 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 bird man. Dumb and dumb bird man. Yes! <laughs> Sometimes sounding like an idiot and just saying stupid syllables finally pays off. Dumb and dumb bird man? Yeah! yeah! <laughs> now for bonus, what is the extended title of Birdman? Oh, come on! What? <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, I don't know the full title, but I'm gonna give you half the title. Dumb and dumb bird, dumb and dumb bird man. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you, dumb and dumb bird man. Yes! Oh my god, and it's like the, the mysterious blah 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 blah, whatever. <laughs> oh, I know why! The full title? The Adventures of Birdman and Birdwoman. <laughs> <laughs> dumb and Dumb Birdman or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance. Oh, you got the balls! 
Oh! Joe, great job. Thank you for playing Movie I, Movie Game and Trivia Bidet. I am so happy to have been part of this time. Thank you for coming. I'll hug you on the now, toilet. This is, now you're just sitting down with the sign of butt. That's just... But you get a hug on a toilet. Oh, I get a hug um, from a man on a, on a toilet. toilet. You did a great job. Oh, thank you. Uh, shout out where you want people to find you. Oh, yeah. Check out YouTube.com slash LaserCorn or Instagram.com slash TheLaserCorn. Thank you guys so much for having me on. I loved you as mole people. Oh, NBC. thank you. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, yeah. Go see Smosh Games. YouTube.com slash Smosh Games. Uh, check us out. We're doing a bunch of wacky nonsense. By the time this goes up, there will be videos on the channel. So go check it out. Boop. Guys. At the Joe Benchar, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube.com slash the Joe I got a bunch of fun, geeky stuff there that I think you just might like. And I stay clothed in 99% of those videos. Liar. 98%. <laughs> Great. <laughs>